Hello, welcome to another episode of Spurverts. I'm here with Craig Mitch. Today, we are wearing the same outfit. It's the new spurred on kit, but like a goalkeeper with the sun in his eyes, Craig has opted for a baseball cap. Yes. Never has my faith been reduced more than when a goalkeeper is either wearing tracksuit bottoms or puts a cap on. <laughs> I think, right, you're conceding 10, mate. Anyway, welcome to Spurverts. This week, we're talking about Colchester, first of all. Colchester 4-1. Craig, I know you have some strong opinions on this match. I told you to chill out on Twitter because you were going ballistic. Yeah. What do you think now you know the end result? I mean, it's a great result, 4-1. I mean, you can't really complain about the result itself. We've gone through to the next round, the fifth round of the FA Cup. It was just more about the effort of the players, Reece. Okay, yeah. I mean, we know they're not great opposition. They're 64 places below us. But I mean, they had two of their centre-halves taken off due to injury yeah. in the first five yeah. minutes. They're 64 places below us. They're bottom of League One. And I felt like when we went 1-0 up, we was under the cosh. We was giving balls away. They looked like they were mounting some we pressure. Were, there was a lot of wayward passes, I'll give you that. A but that lot. First, when they first had, we're down to sort of 10, 9 men for a bit. We yeah. were all over them. We were very unlucky not to have scored in that period. Yeah, yeah, we were. That was. first sort of 15 minutes. But I found that frustrating as well, because I don't think we was unlucky. Yeah. I just feel like we wasn't clinical. Yeah, it was. that was frustrating. Okay, very. we're talking about clinical. What about Nasser Chadley? Oh, he is He's really... He's become clinical. He's, he missed that one chance. But otherwise... Four in three for him at the moment. He's, he's great. He's scoring, and the goals he's scoring, they're really good goals. Good they're goals. not just scrappy finishes like Tom Carroll's. And I'm... Wow. Like, like hits the keeper, that, hits the bar and no, goes in. That is unbelievably unfair to say. <laughs> that was an excellent finish. Very tidy. It was like, it was the ball was behind oh, him and he managed to get it in. It was I all right. I mean, it was right. a great finish. It wasn't like Nasser's against Crystal Palace 91st minute or the one he actually stuck in the first goal against Colchester. These uh, look, if you're going to talk about cagey finishes, we've got to bring up Eric Dyer. I mean, this is that the was, thing. That was unlucky. This we talk about us being not being unlucky before, we're not being clinical. That was lucky. It was very lucky. Deflection from. But what was good? Out. It's nice for someone to have a hit. For so long, we were trying to dribble it into the net. Yeah. It's nice for him to have a hit. Just, just hit it. Yeah. He's done it against Man City. He scored from about that similar range. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, he, exactly. we know he's got it in his locker. Just go for it. And he saw that there was no pass on. No, there was no movement going on. Oh, just bang this, no and then movement. it went in. It's like that Christian Eriksen goal that he scored against. Uh, oh, who was it against? West. Brom. West Brom, yeah. West Brom. I think it was West Brom, I'm not sure. Let By the way, back. Carol, I want to take back what I said about you. I do not want to be blocked on Twitter. So you know what? Your, your face is amazing. <laughs> Tommy Carroll. Uh, I, th I, I like Tommy Carroll when he went to the centre attack in mid-position. Look at you trying not to get blocked. I'm Look still not... you trying not no, to you get blocked by him. Tom, if you're watching, I'm still not convinced about you in the CDM role. I'm not. I'm not. I'm sorry, mate. And you can block me if you, you want, can mate. Kiss, you can kiss his timeline goodbye now. That's you it. can kiss goodbye to my sweet, sweet tweets. Uh, okay, right. Now, the transfer deadline yes. is over. It's, it's done. done. Deadline day Finally. is done. Okay, the window is closed. I want to paint a picture for you, Craig. Okay. Okay? It's Christmas morning. Yes. Okay? There's been build up for a whole month about wow. what you're going to get for Christmas. Yeah. Okay? Finally, you come downstairs in the morning and you look under the tree and there's nothing there. But your mum has taken the bins out and the bins are Fazio. Fazio's gone alone to Sevilla. Oh! I mean, what an amazing Christmas. Yeah, I know. That is it. I, I mean, that Don't need any presents. Fazio's gone. <laughs> don't need a tree. You don't need the dinner. You don't need a turkey. Fazio is out the window. He's gone. I think this is a very interesting development given that we've just lost a centre-back and he was really is our only cover now given that Vertonghen's injured. Yeah. So what... I, I assumed, as soon as Fazio went, I assumed, oh, he's got a centre-back coming in. I'm going to go out on a whim, or a vim, yeah. <laughs> um, and say that I'd rather play Bentaleb at centre-half really? than Fazio. That is how much even I given, despise this man. Even given Bentaleb's form of late. Yeah. Do you know what? Fazio wasn't even on the blacklist. He just didn't exist anymore. No. Like, like he, was, he wasn't no even on No list. There was, he wasn't even list worthy. Cameron Carter Vickers. Do you reckon he can step up and do a job? I think he could. I like anything's better than Fazio. Okay. Anything. What's Fazio's first name? Fair enough. Right? Federico. Federico. I mean, come on. He sounds like a salsa dancer. <laughs> okay. Stick to salsa, mate, and leave the football alone. What about Alex Pritchard? Alex Pritchard's gone as well. Oh, I'm not including kinda... him in the bins, by the way, in my bin analogy. That was just Fazio. Uh, it kind of hurts, man. I, I, what I saw of him pre-season, very, very good player. Very class. dynamic. Well, he, he's very small though, can he, can he cut it? I mean... What you've got to understand though is that he was not going to get in the starting team. Yeah. There's a lot of competition for the sort of role he plays. Yeah. And it's good to get some Premier League experience. Does it mean Ryan Mason should send go him out? Loan. No, I'm, I'm just wow. joking. Guys, wow. I'm joking. I like still, Ryan still hating on no, Ryan Mason. No, I love Mason, but he ain't getting in the team. Unbelievable. Well, no. he's injured. I would, he, well, he I'd pick him it. above Bentaleb for a, to come on or in a cup match. Yeah, but if everyone's fit, he ain't, he ain't getting in there. 
But no, okay. but Pritchard on loan, I mean, it's, it's weird that he went West Brom though. I mean, given the kind of history between Levy and Peace, does that mean there is peace between the two yeah, of them? Yeah, everyone thought, because it happened early in the day, everyone thought that was a bargaining chip, didn't they? They all thought, well, that, I thought it was. that's a way of getting Berahino over. Who, by the way, did you see his tweet? Yes, I did. It was hilarious. It basically said, don't... Wait for the, sp uh, don't the little spoiled kid to, to come yeah, out yeah, of his yeah. or whatever. It seems like he's learned, learned his lesson. I don't know. It was kind of a, it was kind of a backhanded. You reckon? You reckon yeah, there's a little bit a bit of bitterness in there. Very sarcastic. Very, very sarcastic. Fair I did enough. retweet it and say, "Free side of Berahino as usual, my customary. Let him out of Shawshank, aka yeah, the Horns." Do you want him in the summer? Um, I think well, then it might be a bit. We could get someone else, maybe. Yeah, probably get Moussa Dembele on a free. Yeah, I by think then. maybe we should put this chapter to bed. Yeah, exactly. All right, let us know your thoughts on that and on all these things like Fazio going. Are you glad to see him go? We certainly are. Uh, the Colchester result. What do you think of that? And of course, Alex Pritchard going on loan. Is it good for him to get some Premier League experience? Let us know in the comments. Give us a like. Subscribe to the channel, and we will see you in part two. How's it going, guys? Welcome to part two of Smurverts. I'm still with Reese. It's still me, Craig. And uh, the first topic we're going to talk about is being drawn Crystal Palace in the fifth round of the FA Cup at White Hart Lane. Yeah, that's big. The return big. of Adebayor. 